Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis for the ones that are new. And today we're gonna to be talking about potty training. training my almost two-year-old my son he is going to be two February 4th and I'm thinking about starting potty training with him I do if you do not know have a daughter her name is Victoria and she is three she was potty trained around I started around two a little backstory I started around two and she was potty trained by two and a half but my husband did deploy and we went and visited and stayed with my mom for about six months. So in that time frame, um, it was kind of a difficult time to start and all that stuff. But she's three, she's fully potty trained. She can sleep through the night um, actually without peeing the bed, but we still do put a pull, pull, put a pull up on her. So. I am super proud of her for that. My son, she was pretty easy to potty train. My son, oh, boys, I don't know much about boys, but I do plan on getting him a little urinal and once he is fully potty trained so that way he can use the urinal and all that fun stuff. So today I'm not gonna be talking or showing you about how I'm potty training my son yet because we're not there yet, but I am going to be talking to you in kind of a refresher for myself um, about the must-haves of potty training. So all the equipment basically that you're going to need to potty train. So I'm going to be going over that. Maybe if you're starting to potty train and you don't know what, maybe you came across this video and you don't know what to exactly get or what you're going to need for potty training, not saying that you need all this stuff but this is just what I have learned training, potty training my first daughter. So, and if you have advice, please leave it down below for boys because I need all the help I can get. So I'm gonna jump into this. These are just gonna be my thing, the things that I think that you will need or some things that can help the process move along easier. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so number one, number one I think on it is a, oh, this was in our bathroom, it's got like water on it from the bathtub, but a potty seat. So this is a nice one, it just opens and closes. <laughs> um, it's got a little thing in here. I think this could be used for boys. I'm not really sure. I was only used, only used this for my daughter and we did use a different potty. I'll see if I can pop up a picture on the screen of what she was mostly potty trained on. It's at my mom's house, so I can't really show you, but this one works just as well and it's great. So also they use it as it can use it as a stool. So it's versatile. This was probably, I could link this below. I'm sure it could be, it was found on Amazon or Walmart or Target or something. You're going to need wipes. Okay, so you're probably thinking, I can't put wipes in the toilet. Well, first of all, they're gonna be training on the little potty at first, if you'd like to go that way. And wipes are a must because their little butts and everything aren't used to like toilet paper. And it doesn't always get everything. So wipes are a must. Even once you are transferred over to the potty, I think wipes are a must because like, you know, I mean, maybe not these wipes, but wipes that can be flushable because just to help them, I still use wipes on my daughter when she goes number two. So that way I make sure I get everything and there's no itching and no infections and no nothing. So wipes are a definite must. I think another must have is to get a sippy cup with some water in it or juice. We don't really do juice in my house, 
but for potty training purposes, we did do juice, but in this cup, I just have some water as an example, <laughs> but a fun cup that they like to make them drink as much water, as much liquid as you can, more than they normally do, so that way they can be going more frequently and feeling that urge more frequently. So some water for sure. Treats, rewards. You can do a reward basket, get things from Target Dollar Spot. You can um, get things from the dollar store. You can, but the way that we chose to potty train my daughter was with M&Ms. She's a chocolate lover like her mother <laughs> and um, she loves M&Ms. So I tried to only give her one or two you know, it didn't always work out, but when she pooped, she got as many as she wanted because that was awesome. So definitely some rewards. Next up, we have undies. There's tons. These are girl ones, obviously, but undies. Um, I also have another kind that I wanted to show you guys, but it's in my son's room and he's taking a nap, but it's the ones that have their Gerber has them other brands do too, but they're more padded in the crotch area. So that way, if they do have an accident, it doesn't just straight fall on the floor right away. It kind of like absorbs it a little, I mean, it still does get on your floor, but it absorbs it a little more than like the regular undies. So definitely some of those undies, some of these undies and pull-ups. I forgot to grab a pair of pull-ups. Um, pull-ups for nighttime. And I wouldn't recommend doing pull-ups like while you're training. Um, and maybe I can do a separate video of like me, the process of me potty training my son and you can see, but I don't personally recommend doing pull-ups during the day while you're potty training because you know, it can be confusing and they don't really realize that they're going because they don't feel it coming out onto them <laughs> so that's a whole nother thing but definitely little undies let them pick out a pair that they love go to the store pick out undies like they're superheroes or dinosaurs or pink or look this one has Minnie mouse on it so undies and the ones with the padding, those are great too for first like starting in the beginning. And then these are the ones that she wears now. To get them interested and like focused on like what it has to go on. Um, okay, so this is for toilet time for girls. Like I said, I've only potty trained my daughter. I do need to get one for my son, but this is a little book and it's like stuck together. <laughs> a little book talking about potty time. It has a little flusher. I'm not gonna flush it because my son is sleeping, but a little flusher and it can just like kind of show them what to expect like what to do you know it's just a little book and like they can even read this on the potty while they're going you can read it both like when you're not potty training leading up to potty training during potty training also just like rant regular books this is a book that my kids love regular books for them to sit while they're sitting on the little potty to read to look at the pictures and all that stuff also some people might be against it, but an iPad um, for them to be looking at while they're sitting, or if they like, you know, you wanna take them every couple minute or every like two minutes or three minutes or every half an hour or whatever it is, sit them on the potty with the iPad. Maybe your kids don't get to look at iPads often. My kids do see the iPad often, but um, my son, he will be in a trance as soon as he sees the iPad. Like we take him to the store, we just give him our phone or iPad and he is, we don't even hear about hear from him so he is gonna this is i didn't use the ipad for my daughter but this is going to be a lifesaver for me to get him to stay on the potty to at least try and go so an ipad books definitely must haves once they get better about um going potty on their own or even if you want to start out with this a potty seat this fits perfect this is um one from Amazon, I can link it. It goes good for the oval potties because I did have one of those cheaper ones that was like um, a Minnie Mouse. And since we have an oval toilet, it slid and kind of scared my daughter. So I realized that they have these ones that fit your toilet. Can You can get if you have a round potty, a round one, if you have an oval potty, an oval one. So this one fits, it has little grips, it's great, easy to clean, not much going on in the back. And it comes with a little hanger, so I just hang it on my wall. So this is great. Um, I'm hoping my son can use it too. It has this little lip, which I think is good for boys. Like I said, haven't potty trained a boy yet, so I don't really know. But my daughter uses this now. She's currently using this. And along with this, if you do start off with this in the beginning, which some people might, I just didn't, but my daughter is now using this. This kind of goes hand in hand with that. A little step stool 
this is just a little we have two of them um for them to brush their teeth which you probably already have um so a little step stool for them to get up on the potty so definitely a step stool i highly recommend okay and this is my last and favorite i know there's tons of other things that i can recommend but this is my last and favorite and i wish i wish and i want to give this to a as a gift to any of my friends or family or anyone i know who's potty training this is a life saver okay so i came across this at um home goods they do sell it on um amazon i will link it they sell it i probably at target i'm not really sure but i found this at home goods and the brand is xo so the bag is kind of dingy looking but it does come with a bag because we keep this in my car this is for when you're out and about to go pot like pottying out and about is kind of hard especially for someone that's new to it learning how to go potty in a potty and going in a big potty like a scary one out in the stores um this is great so i do not have the bags to show you but it comes out like this it's a little potty it's a portable potty so what i do is i this is what happens so the little legs extend like this and it sits like this so it comes with bags and there's refills on amazon i just have to order some but we went on a road trip and i use them all so it comes with bags you could probably just use grocery bags too but the bags that they come with have kind of like a padding a little like extra thing to catch moisture and stuff but you push the bags into the holes like this and the bag goes in and then you can i would just take out my stroller in my trunk and I would put this in my trunk and just let her go potty. If she felt like I have to go potty, I would just let her go potty. And if we're out at the park or somewhere where there's um, woods or like grass, you don't even need, honestly, some people might think different about that, but you don't even need the cup, the thing to go inside. Sometimes this sounds really bad, but when we're out at the store, if I don't have a thing, like a bag to go inside, I'll just put it in the grass somewhere and let her go potty. So when your kids gotta go, they gotta go, especially when they're newly potty trained and they're probably scared of the big potty. And I don't know about you, but I'm a huge germ girl and going on the big potty when they're so new to it is kind of gross. They don't wanna touch it and all that stuff. So this is great because it's clean, it's sanitary for you. You just put it in your trunk and they go potty and if they don't have to go potty then it's easy you just close it up all so all you do is fold it up like this and another great thing that you can use for this you can use this as a potty seat so say you are out in the store and they do want to go but the potty's too big and you don't have obviously this it, you just extend the arms like this and it sits on the potty it might not be the sturdiest, but it does sit on the potty. So if I could recommend anything, if you take anything from this video, I am so passionate about this silly little potty seat. I am so thankful and happy that I came across it because it has been a lifesaver for road trips. It's just so easy. So after she goes, I just close it up and I have a Clorox wipes in my bag. So if like anything gets on the legs, I just wipe it off. And then it comes with this port, this little bag. And I just put it in the bag. Sometimes it's a little fussy. Put it in the bag and close it up and throw it in my trunk. That's how easy it is. And this is the brand. I will have it linked below because like I said, this is my ultimate my favorite thing that i could recommend someone so this is actually what inspired me to want to do this video i did want a little like reminder of what i needed for when i do potty train my son and i figured there was people out there that wanted to know some things that other people use and that they haven't thought of so please if you take anything from this video get out and go buy yourself one of these it's like $14 or like 20 bucks and it's so worth it. It comes with a pack of the refill things. It comes with a potty seat. It comes with the bag. It is so worth it. And then the refills are like probably like 10 bucks or like something and it comes with like 50. So it's definitely worth it. Love it. 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are gonna be potty training, good luck. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need the luck, so please wish me luck for my son. And I hope that you got some like inspiration or if you didn't know of certain products, I hope that I brought them to your attention or some ideas. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to see more of me. Please check out my Instagram. I post Instagram stories all the time. If you want to know what I'm posting, if you just want to see what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life, I post so much on my Instagram. So please go check it out. It's babylux27. I will have it linked in the description bar and I'll have it on the screen. So please go check that out. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.